Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to upload multiple files in Code Igniter framework using Ajax jQuery and without using form submit and upload multiple files without refreshing of page. In our previous one of the video tutorial we have seen how to upload single file without using form submit in PHP script. Same logic we have used from uploading multiple files in Code Igniter without using form. So here we will use form data object for sending files from browser to server. Now let's start learning these things. First we have know the file structure for this topic. We have create one controller with name upload multiple and controller folder and in this controller we have create one function index. When this multiple upload controller has been loaded then this function will be called first and under this we have function we have write dollar this with loader class object load with view method and under this view method we have write which view file we have want load. So here we have write upload multiple. So when this controller has been loaded then index function will be called and this function will load view output file like upload multiple.php from view folder. So we have create one upload multiple.php file in view folder, this is output file in code igniter framework. In this file we have used bootstrap and javascript framework jQuery. We will use jQuery for upload multiple file without using form. Under this file we have first create input file tag for select multiple files. So we have write input type is equal to file with attribute name is equal to files and it is equal to also files. For selecting multiple files, so we have used this multiple attribute. By this attribute we can select multiple files. Below this tag we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to uploaded images. We will display uploaded image file under this division tag. Now we have moved to write jQuery code on file tag change event. Here when we have select multiple files then it will be uploaded to server. So here we have write dollar with file tag add files with change even with function. So when we have select files then this code will be execute. Under this first we want to get the property of selected images files. So we have defined one variable files is equal to dollar with file tag add files with zero index with files method. This code will help us to get the property of selected file and store into this files variable. Then after we have defined one error variable is equal to blank. Under this variable we will store error which we have get during the uploading of files. Now first we have create one new variable form data is equal to new form data object. Here we have used form data object for append selected files data into form data variable for upload multiple image files to server. After this we have write for loop with variable count is equal to zero, condition like value a variable count must be less than files variable with length method and count variable plus plus. Here length method will return the number of selected files with input file tag. Under this loop we have write variable name is equal to files variable with count variable as index with name method. Here we have get name of each file by using name method and store into this name variable. After getting name of file so now we want to get the extension of file so we have write extension variable is equal to name variable dot split method with dot delimiter with pop method with to lowercase method. This code will get the extension from file name and store into extension variable. Now we want to check selected file extension is allowed to upload and it is matched with allow type file, so we have write of statement and in condition we have write jQuery with an array method with two argument. In first argument we have write extension variable in which we have store extension of selected file and in second argument we have write array of allowed extension is equal to minus one. 
this condition will check selected file extension is not valid then it will execute if block of code under this we have write error variable and in this variable we have append error message like invalid image file. But suppose selected file extension is valid then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write form data variable with append method and under this method for first argument we have write input type file name files and array and in second argument we have write files variable with count variable as index. It will append selected files property into form data object variable. After this we have write if statement and in condition we have write error variable is equal to blank. This condition will check value of error variable is blank or not. Suppose value of error variable is not blank that means there is some error in file, then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert with error variable. It will pop up error message on browser. But suppose value of error variable is blank then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write ajax request and in this we have write url option set to base url function with upload multiple which is controller name slash upload function, we have send ajax request to this page, here base url function will return base url which we have set in config file and upload multiple is a controller name and upload is a function of upload multiple controller. In second option we have write method option and under this we have write post method, here we have used post method for sending data to server. In third option we can define which data we want to send to server which can be defined under data option with form data, because we have store all data under this form data object variable. Fourth option is content type set to false, here content type used when sending data to the server. Fifth option is cache and it is set to false, it will enable requested pages to be cached. Next option is process data and it is also set to false, it will send DOM document or non-process data file, so it is set to false. After this next option before send callback function, this function has been called before it will send request to server and under this function we have write dollar with division tag with it uploaded image with HTML method and under this method we have write image uploading. So when we have select image then this code will be execute first. And lastly in Ajax request we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request has been completed and this function will receive data from server which can be fetched from this data argument. This function will receive data from server, so we want to display uploaded image data under division tag with it uploaded images, so we have write dollar with division tag it uploaded images with HTML method and under this we have write data variable which we have received from server and it will display uploaded images on web page. After this we want to clear the value of input file tag. So we have write dollar with file tag id files with value method and under this method we have write blank value, so it will clear the value of file tag. Now we have moved to write multiple upload file code at upload multiple controller, and here first we have define upload function, so we have write function with name upload. This function name we have defined into ajax request. Under this function we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar files files name variable is not equal to blank. This condition will check this function has received files from Ajax request or not. Suppose it received value of this files name variable then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank. Under this variable we will store uploaded image data in HTML format. After this we want to set the configuration of code igniter upload library, so we have first write dollar config upload path variable is equal to dot slash upload folder name slash, in this configuration we have set file folder name in which we want upload files and we have already made this upload folder. 
Then after we want say to loud files type, so we have write dollar config allowed types variable is equal to allowed file extension. Now we want to load up load library, so we have write dollar this with loader class object load with library method with two argument. In first argument we have write library name upload and in second argument we have dollar config variable in which we have defined configuration for upload library. After loading of upload library now we want to initialize this upload library. So we have write dollar this with upload library object upload with initialize method with dollar config variable. This method will initialize upload library under this function. Now we have write for loop with initialized dollar count variable is equal to zero, with condition like value of dollar count variable is less than equal to count function with dollar files files name and in increment we have write value of dollar count variable plus plus. This whole structure of for loop which execute loop until it reach value of selected files. Under this loop we want to define single file property from multiple files. So first we have dollar files file name variable is equal to dollar files files name with index dollar count variable. Here we have store single file name property into dollar files file variable. Same way we have define other file property like file type, temporary file name, error and size property into this file variable from multiple files variable. This way we have defined single file property for upload file to server. After defining single file property now we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar this with upload library class object upload with do upload method and under this method we have write file variable in which we have store single file property. This function will upload file to define destination and it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with upload library object upload with data method. This method will return array of data of uploaded file which we have store into this dollar data variable. After getting uploaded file data, now we have write dollar output variable and under this variable we have append HTML code like image tag with attribute source is equal to base URL function with upload folder name slash dollar data file name variable. Here dollar data file name variable will return name of uploaded file. This code will display images on web page and this code we have append into this dollar output variable. Now we want to send to Ajax request so we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. So we can see uploaded image on browser. So our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that when page has been loaded display one file only on web page. So we have click on file tag and it open window screen and here we can select multiple image file at once, because we have used multiple attribute under file tag. So we have select 5 image at once and after selecting images on web page it display message like image uploading. After a few second on browser we can see 5 image on web page. That means our code on how to upload multiple images in Code Igniter without using form submit and use Ajax query code with Code Igniter is working. It will upload multiple image at once without refreshing of web page. Here we have not used form and button click event for upload files in Code Igniter. But we have used only single file tag with Ajax and query for upload files to server in Code Igniter. In many of the social media site in which we have select multiple file and uploaded to server without refreshing of web page. They all have most of use this type of code and we have apply this type of code and code igniter. 
So this is our video tutorial on upload multiple file and code igniter by using Ajax jQuery without using form submit. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with all your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.